High school students in Coventry went back to virtual learning today. The superintendent of schools says by the end of the week, they will return to in-person for half a day. That schedule continuing for the foreseeable future after 21 new COVID cases were reported. Tonight, 12 News reporter Rob Nesbitt spoke with the superintendent about the changes. He joins us now live from Coventry. Now, Rob, we're hearing a lot about lunchtime and concerns there. Yeah, my Coventry High School has around 1,500 students who eat lunch in two different cafeterias, according to the superintendent. It's a time when most students are unmasked and sitting close yeah. together. We weren't expecting to come back and, and, and to deal with this Delta variant the way we have. After an increase in positive COVID cases, Coventry High School is taking steps to try to mitigate the problem, going virtual Monday and Tuesday, with Wednesday being a professional development day. Starting Thursday, students will be in person the first half of the day and learn from home the second half. Superintendent Craig Levis says the half days will start at lunchtime to avoid crowding in the school's cafeterias. 1,500 students in our, in our lunch, two lunch rooms divided by three lunches. So there's a significant amount. They're shoulder to shoulder. He says it's impossible to make sure all students put their masks back on after each bite and that half days will stay in place until COVID numbers improve. 37 positive cases since the start of the year. This isn't going to be forever. He says that most everyone in his district's high school is eligible to be vaccinated, but not everyone has taken advantage of the shot. 55% of them are vaccinated, which means 45% aren't. So those individuals, if they were identified as a close contact, will need to be quarantined. Superintendent Levis says that the new schedule allows high school students to be in school for as long as possible and as safely as possible but that his recent meetings with the Rhode Island Department of Health have shown that in-person learning is about to get more difficult. The next couple of months are going to be challenging. You know, we're going to start going indoors more. I'm going to get cooler. Starting Friday morning, COVID testing will be available for all Coventry High School students. Students under 16 will need to get parent permission. The district is also working with the city to provide a vaccine clinic here the first week of October. Reporting live in Coventry, I'm Rob Nesbitt, 12 News.